My name's Kayla, this is Cinnamon Peaches and Sage, and it is Pokemon Day! I made a bingo board of my predictions, and I'm honestly not super sure about any of them. Okay, well, like, I think there's probably gonna be stuff about the mobile games, but still. There's been a lot of talk leading up to this about if there's gonna be something related to black and white, or if it's gonna be more gold and silver. I think potentially both. If I had to like stick to one prediction, I guess I would say that I think that Black and White will either get remakes or Black and White 3 or something along those lines. Whereas if we get something for Johto, it could be more like Legends Johto or Let's Go Johto. Of course, we could get nothing at all. So let's watch the video and find out. Oh, what's that say? Wait, E-K-O, on. Oh, Pokemon! Duh! Pokemon Presents, that's what it's gonna say. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. I wonder if we're gonna get something with Johto then, with the unknown? Hello, everyone. I'm oh, Ishihara let me turn this up Pokemon a little Company. bit. Today, February oh, okay. Pokemon so we have the Loyal 3 in the this background. The we have the original Pokemon starters, because those are usually hints to what they're gonna talk about. Pokemon. We've definitely got Our some, we've got Tropagos there. The Oh, this is so fun. We've got the, we've got Scarlet the Violet. There aren't that many plushies, so I feel like we've got Ogre Pond and Tropagos. That makes me think that there might be another DLC based on the plushies that we have here, and that we might, we might get ports with the Gen 1 starters on there. That's what that makes me think, but we'll see. Please take it away. But we'll see. <laughs> Hi, it's Nomia. I hope everyone has um, okay, again, Gen 1 Pokemon starters, Pokemon Violet we've got, so uh, to commemorate yeah, Pokemon, the same kind of Pokemon, so, oh, that's why we have those three. Venusaur, Blastoise, and okay, so we're just doing, we'll begin tomorrow. okay, that's, that's fine, those are just, raids. those are just raids for Today, those three. I'd also like to share the latest updates on a number of our other games. Okay, is that Please the only the SV update we're gonna get? That seems a little weird. Um, whoa. Oh, okay, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go has been doing a lot of stuff with portals. Um, ooh, wait. Oh, that's cute. Liko. Oh, oh, I've watched a lot of the episodes of the anime so far. I'm not like fully caught up, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Volt tackle. Volt the tackle. <laughs> oh, Cerulege. Whoa. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if we'll get to interact with them at all in it. Oh, and for Pokemon Day, they have the birthday hats. Oh, that's fun. Oh, and it's March 7th on Netflix. They didn't even say that out loud because they were like, eh. ooh, Pokemon Sleep. I've been playing Pokemon Sleep so much, like literally every night. Oh, look at the Sleepy Mary. Oh, is there going to be like legendaries? What? Are we getting the legendary beasts in Pokemon Sleep? What? How? What? I'm so excited. We are. Oh my gosh. Just Raikou. And Tains, we can follow? That's amazing. What islands are they going to be on? They're probably going to be so good. Ooh, and we can get gifts. Yay, that's good. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I love the little animations in between. Okay, Pokemon Masters EX. Cool. There have been some things with pictures going on with that lately. Um, oh, I love the animations for Pokemon Masters that they do. Like the, There has been a lot of Johto love right now. Between the legendary beasts and this. And, hmm. <laughs> making me curious for sure. Yeah, Silver and Gita. I heard about this on March 1st. Aw, yay, the family. Uh, <laughs> that very dysfunctional family <laughs> from Sun and Moon. <laughs> okay, what else? 
This transition animation is perfect. It also is showing the concept of all of these games existing in different universes because we're literally going through these like stylized wormholes into different games. So yeah, <laughs> that's how the Pokemon multiverse works. Oh, look at the Gimme Ghoul. All oh, right, I didn't cry and they're eating. Oh, this is so cute. This is adorable. I should play this game. And everybody always tells me like, Kayla, you would love this game. You should play it. But like, oh, time guys. Like I have to make choices about what I play. And currently Pokemon Sleep is just like, so fun for me. <laughs> Ooh, Pokemon Unite. Oh, that game's really fun too. I haven't played it in a while, but oh my gosh. I played, when that first came out, I played it so much. Yeah, I heard that Maridon was coming to Pokemon Unite, but I don't think Coridon, right? <laughs> Phalanx, that's cool. Aw. Ooh, <gasps> Cerulege, Psycho Kata. Okay, oh, and they have the dates. They're coming out in different dates. That's fun. The, good, the cool thing about Unite is the balance changes a lot, so it's really fun. Um, seeing which Pokemon get good and, but it is frustrating because if you spend real world money to get a Pokemon and then it's no longer good like that kind of sucks <laughs> not a fan of that but <gasps> that's GBA music are we getting ports oh my god are we getting ports are they just teasing us with this right now moving on please have a look at this video that's so big what is this about What? Oh, okay, it's the card game. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I haven't played the card game in a while. My Discord is like popping off right now, so something, I'm like a little bit behind and I'm like, I'm wondering what's going on. <laughs> but I'm like not looking at the messages because I want to be surprised. Oh, wait, is there a, Oh, oh, there's a card game online. I think that was already a thing, right? I haven't done that yet. Oh, you got a path. Oh, that's cool. So we can play the card game on our phone. Are we able, able to just trade and stuff? Or are we able to battle? Because battle, battling is really fun. Ooh, quick battles. Okay, so we are able to do battles. That's cool. That's pretty nice, because like, it's in the modern day and age with how space is, especially I live in a studio apartment, it's like storing Pokemon cards would be really pretty difficult. So being able to play them on a mobile app like this is actually really cool. Oh wow, look at it going into the card. That's so beautiful. Props to the artist that made this, because wow, that was pretty. Cool. <laughs> Woo -woo. I, I haven't played the card game in so long, like so long. Trading card game pocket, that's fun. I wonder if um, this has been a thing for a while or not. Coming 2024, oh, so it is new, it is new. Okay, cool, that's fun. So that means I could start it right when it starts. Wait, 2024, that's this year, when? When though? They said 2024, but when in 2024? I wonder if we'll be able to play in real life and tournaments and things like that. Because that would be pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of how Hearthstone is all on... Um, Oh, they're using the developers of Pokemon Masters. That's a good sign. I feel like Pokemon Masters is a really well done game. So that's cool. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Kitano. Here we go. I'm Yuji Kitano from Creatures Inc. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the What Pokemon is in the background there? With Pokemon trading card What game is card, that? I hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon trading card game. So we are hard at work developing digital cards. Okay. When you develop physical cards, we oh, strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, yeah, colors, and printing cards. Yeah, the physical cards is actually, like, great. Since this game uses mobile devices rather than paper, we're challenging ourselves to express that care in new ways that are only possible oh, digitally. Oh, are they going to have animations Such or something? using the characteristics of the screen to show hmm, off really I'm going to have a drink of my tea. Effects. 
One way we're like, this are there going to be animations? Cards. Oh, like Which that. That was really cool. Into the world of the card I really love that. I always felt like that's There's kind more. of we how the card game works. System, so you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. I like that we're going to be able to battle with them too. I was worried it might just be collecting, but... Like, battling is a key part for me for Pokemon cards. I love battling. It's a key thing for me for Pokemon games in general. So the fact that we're going to be able to battle with the cards, that's really cool. We hope you look forward to the results of our latest efforts in the world. Are those just Pokemon cards in the background that are, like, being developed or something? I feel like there's something vaguely hidden in the background there, but I don't know what it is. Okay, what's next? Okay, Pokemon trading card game pocket. I just want to see what's next. <laughs> okay, what else? Because I feel like they updated us on the mobile games a just lot. One more thing. Oh, like just one more thing? With one final video for Whoa, you. wait, just one more? Thank you for tuning in. What is this going to be? Because I think they still have like a lot of time left in it, right? We've got... Soy... What's that say? So... so I don't know what that said. Question mark? <laughs> That's how I feel, question mark? Okay, what is this last announcement gonna be? Because I thought that we would probably get Unova stuff, but is that what's gonna actually happen or is it something else? What's it gonna, or is it like Johto? Okay, confidential, not actual gameplay footage. What is this? Urban redevelopment plan city? Are we getting, are we getting like an Animal Crossing Pokemon game? Cause I know people have wanted that for a while. What is this? This looks like Kalos? What, what? Are we getting like Sim City but Pokemon? <laughs> what is this? Whoa. Wait, this is Kalos. That's a Furfru. This is, what? Where, whoa. Sylveon! Oh. That's, that's Lumio City. What? What is this? Are we, are we doing like Lumio City? Yeah, I see that. Urban redevelopment plan Lumio City? What does that even mean? <gasps> what? Pokemon Legends Zygarde? What, in 2025? What? And Mega Evolution is back. What does that even mean though? It's just, that's how it's ending? What? <laughs> okay, well, that totally changes everything that I was thinking. So we're getting a Pokemon Legends Zygarde. It doesn't look like it's set in the distant past. Lumio's tower is built. So, what does this even mean? And it's coming out in 2025 too, so this is like a very early teaser of it. I feel like I'm gonna have to really look at the trailer and look at all of the details to see what we can figure out. But right now, honestly, I'm just so shocked that we're getting Kalos? I don't think anybody was expecting this. I'm trying to think how Legends Kalos not really set in the past works unless unless we're starting it in the future and then going to the past like maybe we just have lumio city in the present day and then we go to the past like we actually see the character go through the wormhole which like there was speculation that that was something that was planned for Pokemon Legends Arceus is to actually start us in Sinnoh and then have us transported to his way. I'm honestly just kind of shocked right now. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to watch this trailer like a million times because 
it was in a very different art style. Like it's definitely not in the art style that the game is actually gonna be in. It's like very much just a teaser. I don't think anybody was expecting this, but I'm excited about it. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. I hope you have a great day or night and I will see you in the next one. Bye.